Hello everyone, and welcome back to BTEC. Chainlink is one of those coins that I've warned my audience about and gave them my view on why Link would be a bad investment in 2021. Last year, in March, I said Link is not worth holding throughout 2021, and it turned out to be accurate. It's been almost a year since I've warned Chainlink holders, and back then I said why Chainlink will underperform Bitcoin, and that you were better off converting your Link tokens to Bitcoin or swap it for some other altcoins. And it turned out to be correct, because Chainlink traded sideways in 2021 while many other altcoins from other sectors outperformed Bitcoin and gave 10x returns. Despite that, Link has been on a downtrend for almost a year against Bitcoin. Either these influencers don't know what they are talking about or they get paid under the table just to pump Chainlink. Nevertheless, in this video, I will talk about why I think Chainlink is done and will probably be one of the worst investments for 2022 and beyond. I don't think that Chainlink will outperform Bitcoin and revisit all-time highs that we saw in August 2020. I will go through the circulating supply and show you how much it has increased since 2020. Moreover, I will cover competition from other sectors in the crypto markets. And last, but not least, I will analyze the charts and see if it is even worth getting into a link and hold it for the next three years. But before we continue further in this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and check my exclusive content where you will find posts and images on weekly Bitcoin and crypto markets updates and additional content on altcoins. Now let's move on with Chainlink. It reached all-time high in early May. At that time, one link was worth around $52. Chenik had rank 11 back then but has dropped down to around rank 20. And this is mostly due to the competition in crypto markets, all kinds of fighting over everyone's attention and money. So, Chainlink isn't just competing with other oracles such as Band Protocol. Link is competing with sectors like NFDS, Metaverse, DeFi Gaming, and Scaling Solutions. This means that as crypto markets evolve, new categories will emerge competing for investors and traders' money. I don't think Chainlink has handled the competition that well from other segments. Therefore, I don't think Lincoln is a good investment for 2022 and beyond. Chainlink had its glory days from 2018 to 2020, and that's when Chainlink outperformed Bitcoin, which means that if you held Link, you would have made more money than holding Bitcoin during that period of time, and between 2018 to 2020, supply did not increase. It stood still at 315 million tokens. But then as the bull market really took off some of the locked tokens, the Chainlink team holds were sold and caused supply to increase to 467 million tokens. So supply had around 33% inflation within one and a half years, and that usually punishes the price moving up. One should be aware that increased supply usually suppresses the price of a coin. Now let's analyze the charts for Chainlink versus Bitcoin. What I can tell is that Chainlink has been on a bear market against Bitcoin since August 2020 as other coins were moving up against Bitcoin. Chainy was actually in a bear market against Bitcoin and if I uh, would ever turn bullish on Chainlink then I must see 20 weeks moving average trend higher and cross both 5100 weeks moving average then I would feel confident getting back into Link. If a pattern similar to 2019 is shaped, back then 20 weeks moving average was about both 50 100 weeks moving averages. Furthermore, Chainlink missed hitting new all-time highs during the latest crypto rally we saw back in November, and that is very concerning. I think Chainlink should have made it to at least $60, and I suspect that Link won't be able to make it past $53 next time Bitcoin makes another run towards $69,000. I think the main issue here is the competition. The crypto markets will always evolve and technology that was hyped before will be forgotten and that is why it is important to move on with your old coins. Don't fall in love with your investments, take profits, and invest into the next type segment. Metaverse was a huge deal throughout October, November investors and traders took their money to these coins and forgot about coins like Chainlink. This is a very important lesson to learn if you want to play the old coins game in the long run. So that's my take on Chainlink. You either love or you hate this analysis, but no matter what, let me know in the comments below what you feel about Chainlink and if you think Link is a good investment for 2022 and beyond. And if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and thanks for watching and you will hear my voice in the next video. Bye.